why this diet biochemically is good for you. One is inflammation, as I mentioned initially. So in your body, you actually have little firemen, and they actually go to put out inflammation. And I was a biochem major in college, so you don't have to memorize this, there's not a quiz. But I love biochemistry when it actually relates to health. So your cells are lined by fatty acids. That's like the perimeter of all your cells in your body. And you have omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids, both of which you have to get from food. Your body can't make them. So when your body breaks down omega-3, it leads to these products, little firemen, that put out inflammation. When your body breaks down omega-6, it causes pro-inflammation products. And that actually makes sense because you need both. So if you get hurt, if you get stung by a bee, you need to make an inflammatory response to stop it. So that's where this comes into play. But once you're done with it, you want to stop the inflammation, and your body uses this. So it's a check and balance. Like Democrat and Republican, you try to barely read it. <laughs> so the problem is, the American diet is 30 to 1, omega-6 to omega-3. So you can't stop the inflammation that your body wants to stop, because you have no omega-3 in your diet. And so people stay inflamed. So inflamed medical conditions are not just heart disease, but arthritis, yeah. asthma, heartburn, almost everything is mediated by inflammation. And that was a big problem for me. So what foods are high in omega-6? Everything processed and packaged because they have preservatives of vegetable oils typically, very high in omega-6. So all the prepackaged <coughs> food you want to get rid of. So that's why I cook. Because I want people to see if a male doctor can cook something in a few minutes, anyone can do it. And I can cook this for breakfast quicker than I can go through a line of fast food. But just a matter of planning it, having it at home, having the food, and then you can eat food that smells good, tastes good, looks good, gives you energy. And I think about the fast food and I go, is it worth it to me to feel bad? Because when you eat that stuff, you know how you feel an hour later. You're tired, you don't feel good. So is it worth it? So that's why I believe in quickly cooking stuff. That's why I like to do this. So more studies, I'm not just, this isn't just some theory, this is real. When you reduce your ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 from 30 to 1 to 40 to 1, 70% reduction in all death. Pretty cool. So when you go to 2.5 to 1 ratio, cancer cells actually stop growing. I mean, how cool is that? That cancer cells in the rectum stop proliferating just by increasing the omega-3 in the diet in the study. Um, and inflammation and rheumatoid arthritis, a very painful condition, very serious medicines are used for that, significantly reduced by having a ratio of only two to three to one of omega-6 to omega-3. So diet makes a huge difference. I had a patient come see me about a month ago, had horrible arthritis and multiple medicines on her own. She completely changed her diet for this way and went completely away. Her pain was gone off the medicine. Makes a big difference. So if your body's inflamed, or food choices may be blind. 